everybody, hope this finds you well. Today we are going to talk about how to combat dry hair. So how do I know that my hair is dry? I'll talk about a few of my ways that I know my hair is dry and hopefully you'll be able to relate and that will help you. So I know my hair is dry when it just does not cooperate. So if I'm doing twists for example, and it just doesn't want to stay in its twist or it doesn't want to stay in its bantu knot or braid, it doesn't want to move, it feels really stiff, that's typically because it's dry. Your hair needs moisture, it needs lubrication to be supple, to be able to move. So if you're twisting and braiding, you're like, why is this not working? You probably need more moisture on your hair. Another way of knowing is by doing a snap test. So just take a strand of your hair from your hair combs or any shed hair that you can finger detangle and just give it a really light pull. If it snaps upon that immediate pull, you probably need more moisture. So a way that I know my hair is well moisturized is when it's like this, rich in color. So if you have been applying lots of different products, that can build up on the hair. And you'll notice your hair kind of looks a bit dull, a little bit gray, and no other moisture is getting in any further because your hair's had enough. Kinky hair in particular does not give off a shine. We don't have shiny hair, but we do have a sheen. So look for that beautiful, whatever hair color you've got, black, brown, look for that strong punch of colour. Especially when I've straight away, like when I've immediately washed my hair, I can really see how much colour my hair has. And that's a way of me knowing that it's well moisturised. Another way is shrinkage. And I know it can be annoying, especially if you're doing a cute hairstyle and then all of a sudden your hair wants to shrink up. But that is a sign of healthy hair. That is a sign of moisturised hair because it's taking that moisture in and it's shrinking up. It's really worth remembering that our hair is just dry by nature, by birth, by genetics. If you have curly to kinky hair, it is just a drier hair type. That is, our sebum does not naturally reach the ends. So someone with straight hair will often talk about having to wash their hair regularly because it gets greasy way down. That will rarely happen with someone with uh, curly to kinky hair. And it sounds weird, like why can't the sebum go around those coils the way it does down straight hair? But if you take your finger and just rub it your scalp, get a little bit of that sebum off and then rub it together in your fingers, you'll be able to feel it's quite waxy. So it makes sense that it can't quite reach all of those kinks and bends, which is why people opt for water only washing to scrub at the scalp and pull it down. I strongly recommend scalp massages. I do that anyway to help stimulate the hair follicles and growth, but when I'm doing it, I massage and I pull down. So I'm massaging, getting that sebum as well as my oil mix on my fingers and pulling it down the strands to help lubricate and moisturize my hair. Another tip would be to do as the straight haired people do, wash your hair more often. I do not have the exact recipe. So sometimes my hair can really seriously go through a dry spell. And when nothing else seems to be working, no matter how much I'm spritzing it with water, deep condition, I need to just get my head under that shower and wash my hair more. Even if you don't like co-washing, what you can do is just give yourself a nice hair rinse. Encourage your hair to accept the moisture in to begin with. So get that steam from the shower, opening up that cuticle, opening up that hair shaft and letting that water through. Another tip will be to avoid coconut oil and alcohols. I have talked about ingredients um, in hair products and I'll leave that video down below if you're interested. Coconut oil actually mimics protein. It actually bonds like protein to the hair. So of course, more protein, less moisture. Try olive oil, try avocado oil, because those two oils, like coconut, are penetrating oils. So they're gonna really help the strands of the hair, but they don't mimic protein in the same way. A lot of people find that they're protein sensitive and react to coconut oil. So if you're using coconut oil and you find your hair's really, really dry and nothing seems to be working, maybe time to put it down. My next tip is to lock and protect. So you've heard about this a million and one times, the LOC method, which is liquid or leave-in oil and cream. Otherwise you can do the LCO method if that suits you better. So liquid, cream, then your oil. You want to do the lock method because you want to encourage again that moisture to stay in your hair. 
There's no point pouring a bucket of water on your head and walking out and expecting your hair to stay moisturized. You have to seal it in with something. And that's why the lock methods tend to work because they're creating this extra, extra barrier to keep that moisture in the hair. And then secondary to that, you better protect it. You better put your hair in some two strand twists, some quick, easy, two chunky twists, braids, anything, just put your hair away because of course the friction of our hands, our t-shirts, scarves, car seats, train seats, all of this stuff rubbing, rubbing, rubbing on our hair. Protect your hair to keep it moisturized. Next tip should be kind of obvious. You need to be drinking water and eating better. Like having your fish, omega-3, that stuff is what is gonna keep your hair moisturized, shiny and strong from within. So get your omega-3 in however you do best. Cod liver oil, I vouch for cod liver oil, I know it's disgusting, but I think it's a great thing for the hair. So make sure you are eating properly because if you're not eating properly, not getting it from within, forget about it. Your body's not working at 100%, it's not gonna give you 100%. No heat, always deep condition. So especially again, if you've got hair like mine, 4B, 4C, there's no reason that you should not be deep conditioning. There really isn't. Getting those extra ingredients in there in your hair shaft that are gonna really help keep your hair soft, supple, moisturized. Even going out in the sun, our hair, our skin protects us, right? So naturally we're people of the sun, but sun can actually dry out our hair. But if you're using something like shea butter, I believe cocoa butter, they have natural SPF in them. So use that on your hair to protect it, to protect it from the sun, stop it from drying out, and do not use heat tools. Typically throughout the week to keep my hair moisturized, I use conditioner and my shea butter mixture. So you can use water and then your conditioner and then a mix or an oil of any kind. I've just found that this one reacts so so well to my hair. It really absorbs well, keeps my hair supple, lubricated, helps it cooperate with me. It's typically an actual conditioner and leave-in but I just use it as a moisturizer and then I seal in that moisture with my shea butter. But for the longest time and which got my hair to this point, I used a spray bottle with water and I would just spritz straight water onto my hair and then seal it in with shea butter. If you are watching this and you are transitioning or just newly natural, like you've just big chopped, don't worry too much about how dry your hair is. Just get in the motion of things, get used to using different products, get used to your new hair texture. For a good, I would say, three weeks of my big chop, I thought my hair was so dry, I was just like, nothing is working. So you're going through a bit of an adjustment phase and that's totally, totally natural and normal. Just continue doing what you're doing, um, incorporate some of the tips that I've talked about. So I hope this video has helped. There's quite a lot of information to throw at you guys, but it is one of the questions I get asked a lot. I hope this video has helped. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do click subscribe and follow me on my social media, which is in the down bar. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.